Hello friends, this is Laravel chat application tutorial series. And in this part, we will make profile page under this chat application. In previous part, we have make required table in MySQL database. And also make model class file, now we have proceed for make profile page. So login user can change their profile details like name, email and password. And under this profile page, user can also upload profile image also. Now let's start discussing this topic. So first we have goes to samplecontroller.php file. And here, we have to make profile function. Under this function, we have to write if statement and under condition. We have to write auth class with check method, so this condition will check. If user is login into system, then only it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have to write dollar data variable is equal to user class with where method with two argument. In first argument, we have to write table column name it. And in second argument, we have to write auth class with id method. So this code will return login user id details. After this, we have to write get method, which will return login user data. Below this, we have to write return statement with view method with two argument. In first argument, we have to write profile blade file name. And in second argument, we have to write compact function with data variable. So it will load profile.blade.php file in the browser. But suppose user is not login into system and try to access this page. Then it will be redirect to login page. So for this, here we have to write return statement with redirect method. And under this, we have to write login method. After this, we have to write with method with two argument. In first argument, we have to write success variable and in second argument. We have to write message like you are not allowed to access. So suppose user is not login into system and try to access this page, then it will redirect to login page and this message will be display. Now we have open profile.blade.php file and under this file. First we have to write at the rate extends directive with name main. So it will extends the content of main.blade.php file and display with this page. After this, we have to write at the rate section directive with name content. And this section directive has been closed by this at the rate end section directive. And between this directive, we have paste this HTML code. Now we want to make profile form, so here we have to write, open and close form tag. And here in form tag, we have to write, action attribute is equal to, Laravel expression. And between this, we have to write, root function, and under this function. We have to write, sample.profile validation, and after this. We have to write, method is equal to post, and encryption type is equal to, multi-part form data. This attribute has been used, when we have upload file to the server. Under this form, first we have to write, at the rate CSRF directive. This directive help us to protect form, from cross-site forgery attacks. After this, we have to write, at the rate for each directive, and under condition. We have to write dollar data variable is dollar row variable. For close this directive, we have to write at the rate end for each directive. Now we want to create input field for store name details, so here we have to write input type is equal to text, name is equal to name, and class is equal to form control. After this, we have to write, value attribute is equal to, Laravel expression.
and between this we have to write dollar row variable with name table column name so it will fill this field with data now for check validation error here we have to write at the rate if directive and under condition we have to write dollar errors variable with has method and under this we have to write name so this condition will check if name field has any validation error then it will execute if block of code and here we have create one span tag with class is equal to text danger and between this we have to write laravel expression and between this we have to write dollar errors variable with first method and with argument name so it will display validation error next we have want to create input field for change email details so here we have to write input type is equal to text name attribute is equal to email and class is equal to form control after this we have to write value attribute is equal to laravel expression and between this we have to write dollar row variable with email table column name so it will fill this field with data now for check validation error for this email field here we have to write at the rate if directive and under condition we have to write dollar errors variable with has method and under this we have to write email so it will check if there is any email field validation error occurs then it will execute if block of code and here we have create span tag with class is equal to text danger and between this we have to write laravel expression and between this we have to write dollar errors variable with has method and with email so it will display this email field validation error after this we want to create another input field for change password details so here we have to write input type is equal to password name is equal to password we will not fill this field with data but user can change password details by fill this field with data now for upload profile image here we have to create one file field so for this here we have to write input type is equal to file and name is equal to user image now for display profile image validation error so here we have to write at the rate if directive and under condition we have to write dollar errors variable with has method and under this we have to write input field name user image if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and here we have create one span tag with class is equal to text danger and between this span tag we have to write laravel expression and between this we have to write dollar errors variable with first method and under this we have to write user image so it will display user image field validation error now we want to display uploaded image so first we want to check user has uploaded image or not so for this here we have to write at the rate if directive and under condition we have to write dollar row variable with user image is not equal to blank if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have to write image tag with source is equal to laravel expression and between this we have to write asset function and under this we have to write images slash after this we have to write dollar row variable with user image name so here this asset function will return path of public directive and from this public directory images folder it will display user profile image now we want to store profile image name data in hidden field so for this here we have to write input type is equal to hidden name is equal to hidden user image and after this we have to write value is equal to laravel expression and between this we have to write dollar row variable with user image table column name now we want to create submit button so here we have to write
Button type is equal to submit, and in button text, we have to write save. So by click on this button, user can save their profile details. Now we have open main.php file, and this main template file. First here we have to write, chat application, in place of custom login registration. After this, we want to display login username and image, on the web page. So here, we have create, one list tag, with class is equal to now item. Now here, we want to check, user has uploaded image or not, so for this, here we have to write. At the rate if directive, and under condition, we have to write. auth class, with user method, with user image is not equal to blank, so this condition will check. If user has uploaded image, then this block of code will execute, and it will display user image, on the web page. So here, we have to write, anchor tag, with class is equal to nub link class, and between this. For display profile image, here we have to write, image tag, with source is equal to, Laravel expression. And between this, we have to write, asset function, and under this function. We have to write, images directory slash, auth class with user method, with user image. So it will display user profile image from images directory, of public directory. And for display login user name, here we have to write, Laravel expression and between this. We have to write, auth class, with user method, with name, so it will display, login user name. But suppose user is not uploaded any image, then it will execute, at the rate else directive code. And here also, we have create anchor tag, with class is equal to name link. And between this, for display default image, here we have to write, image tag, with source is equal to, Laravel expression. And between this, we have to write, asset function, and under this function. We have to write, images directory slash no image dot png file, so it will display user default image. Now for display login user name, so here we have to write, Laravel expression. And between this, we have to write, auth class with user method, with name, so it will display login user name. After this, we want to create profile page link, so here we have to write. List tag with class is equal to nub item, and between this, we have to create anchor tag with class is equal to nub link, and after this, we have to write href attribute is equal to Laravel expression. And between this, we have to write root function with profile. And in anchor text, we have to write profile, so it will make profile page link. Next, we want to set root of profile method, profile validation method, so we have open web.php file. And here, we have to write, root class, with get method, with two argument. In first argument, we have to write, profile, and in second argument, we have to write profile. After this, we have to write, name method, with profile, so this code will set root, for profile method. After this, for set root of profile validation method, so here we have to write root class, with post method, with two argument, and in first argument. We have to write, profile validation, and in second argument, we have to write, profile validation. After this, we have to write, name method, and under this, we have to write sample.profile validation, so this code will set, root of profile validation method. So here our code is ready, for view profile page, in the browser. So we have goes to command prompt, and goes into directory, where we have stored, chat application code. And here we have run this command, which will start Laravel server, and provide user base URL of our chat application. So here in browser, we have paste base url slash login in the browser. So here, we can see that, login page has been displayed, in the browser. Now here, we have enter login details like, email and password details. 
and after this we have click on login button so after click on login button here we can see that dashboard page has been display on the web page and here on the header we can see login user default profile image with login user name and here we can also see profile and log out link also now for view profile page so here we have click on profile link and after click on profile link here we can see that profile page has been load in the browser and here we can see that name and email field has been filled with data and password field is not filled with data this is because in database password has been stored in hash formatted string so here we have not filled password field with data but for change password details here user can fill password field and click on save button user can change password details same way here user can also upload user profile image also by click on this file so in this part we have discussed to make profile page under this chat application in next part we will learn how to validate user profile page data with upload profile image so we will be meet in next part